Hello, I am Tungavag, and today I'm gonna show you how I made my track after party. I'm gonna get a girl something to do. Sorry, baby, I'm not sorry. Sorry, baby, I'm not sorry. Tell me when you move that body. Tell me when you leave the party. Oh, sorry, baby, I'm not sorry. We can start with the vocals. I got the demo in November last year from Red City. The lyrics are written by Turab and Brandon. Sorry, baby, I'm not sorry. Love me when you move that body. Call me when you leave the party. Whoa. On the vocals, I have a nectar. And what is really good with nectar is that you can open the plugin and you can choose vocal assistant. If you choose this and click assistant next, then you can choose the vibes and intensity. And if you take moderate, and modern and then the program will analyze the vocals for you and then it's much easier to have a starting point and after this you can tweak around the vocals consist of the lead sorry baby there is some dubs sorry baby i'm not sorry another dub sorry baby i'm not sorry a more pitch down vocal sorry baby i'm not sorry love me when you move that body call me when you leave the party sorry baby i'm not sorry and all the vocals together. Sorry, baby, I'm not sorry. Let me when you move that body. Call me when you leave the party. Whoa. Yeah, there's some uh, lyric changes there as well, I think. That's the Molly. Yeah, pop that Molly. Yeah. Sorry, baby, I'm not sorry. Let me when you pop that Molly. Yeah, I, I think we used a lot of the vocals from the demo. What I always do is putting on the equalizer. I think that's one of the most important tools. And it's really great to mix the track while you are producing on the track. So then it's less to do after the track is finished. So I always do all the mixing while I'm producing. So saving some time. And as you can see, there is nectar on almost all of them. And all the vocals, I'm linking to a vocal bus, jumping over to the first verse. And this is the vocals by Brandon. Out, late at night, through the window. I put actually a song dicer on it, equalizer. Out, late at night, through the window. And a uh, nectar. There's equalizer in the nectar too, so sometimes I put even three or four equalizers in the same mixer track. So a deesser. There's two equalizers. Out, late at night, through the window. Does your man... And in the beginning, we didn't have the rap part with Rich the Kid. So I can show you the old... The old second verse. We can zoom, zoom, baby, come through. Staring at the roof when I come to. Looking like you could be bad news. Whoa. Later on, we changed this. And we asked Rich the Kid if he wanted to join the track. So he wrote some lyrics and sent us this. Sorry, I'm not sorry. That's your girl, I took her to the party. You a cover, you gon' lock her down, not me. She a freak, tryna ride me like a Harley. Why they hate on me? Cause I got a bankroll. I got a lot of cash, now my money never fall. Ooh, I'ma get a girl something to do. Sorry, baby, I'm not sorry. Yeah, he also did a couple of vocal shots. And this one was one of them. And this part wasn't here, but I just think it fits so good to be right before the chorus. Richie Kid's vocals are underneath the chorus too. Love it when you move that body. Love it when you move that body. Four vocal stems plus the effect. Love it when you move that body. That's the second verse, Rich the Kid rap part. And in the last chorus, they are coming in the la 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 part. La la la, la 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 la. <laughs> wow. See you at the after party. La, la, la. So that's actually the whole gang, except Tungvog uh, singing. <laughs> and it was, was a really quick session. We, we had like four or five hours, I think. We just went in, uh, got all the equipment up, and then just started working and Brandon and uh, Turab, they worked really well together on the top line. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, well, at this point, um, at this stage in the song, we, we sent the track to, to Tungvog um, because he liked it. And I don't think we were 
100% satisfied with the arrangement of the track. Uh, so we we the end the ending sounded like. <laughs> That's all the vocals. Moving on to the bass. The bass was completely changed yeah. because uh, Tungevog he wanted a slap bass. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and he we... made the bass, in our opinion, a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, so that that's a great way to uh, work together that you get this different perspectives on uh, on parts of the song. Exactly. So. Sorry, baby, I'm not so. This is the bass we did. Yeah, well, he uh, altered that to a better bass, I yeah. guess. Uh, yeah. He will show that, I guess. Yeah. The original bass we had from the first demo sounds like this. And that was basically everything. So, And I thought this track needed a slap bass. So we asked a friend of us if we can do a couple of slap bass. And I ended up to use this. Cashmere plugin, another equalizer, one more equalizer. It's like I told you, I can have three or four equalizers in the same uh, to find the perfect sound. Fab filter, Saturn, sound godizer, and Kickstarter without the effect. This is together with a sub bass. This one is Nexus. It's called Bad Sub. I don't think it's bad. And the third bass is actually the same bass, but it's one octave down. All three bases. Four the bases, equalizer, sound godizer, fab filter, Saturn, and Kickstarter. Together with the rest. Sorry, baby, I'm not sorry. Tell me when you move that body. Tell me when you leave the party. There is also a guitar. Uh, Kato, you did the track, the, the guitars on the session? Uh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, we have a friend who's a funky guitarist, and he added one more guitar at the end. And it sounds like this. That's then you get nice that one. kind of funky sound. And this chopped up synth is from Kent in Red City. And he's the chop uh, guru chop, chop. in the Red chopper. City. <laughs> chop. <laughs> yeah. Chopper. Uh, and we just added that in the end because we didn't know exactly where to fit it, but we liked it a lot. But Tungvog, yeah, he, uh, he managed to, to place yeah, he, it. He mixed it with the gang vocals. Yeah, exactly. So... <laughs> His, his side chained it, uh, so it just worked perfectly. Yeah. There's also some other synths, which I didn't use, because I thought it was too much to have all this stuff together. K2 
Kiero that started the whole session. I don't, I don't remember uh, 100%, but but yeah, this was the vibe we had. Some, some filter here as well. This is also a filter plugin we use a lot. And I think this is contact uh, piano, upright piano, kind of standard. And a pad underneath. This one is Nexus, Chill Pad 1. And then after the first chorus, one of the most catchy parts of the track are coming in. And that's this part. Yeah, and, and this here, I, I, I think, think Brandon came up with that part. Yeah, yeah. And it's a piano riff that mm. he came up with together with the the the, the top line. Yeah. And the top you line is quite shouldn't similar. be here uh, yeah. now. Bet you think about me when you get home. Yeah, hey, yeah. A lot of good stuff, and uh, yeah, from here Tungvog took the track to a new level. Next level. Next level shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Tungvog, um, go ahead, uh, explain them uh, the rest. For the rap part, for Rich the Kid, there's a pad. She a freak trying to ride me like a Harley. Why the hell ain't on me? Because I got a bankroll. I got a lot of cash. No, my money never falls. There's also some strings. Usually when I'm producing, I'm putting in a lot of effects, but for this track, there's only two. So it's the crash. And one impact. And that's it. The last part is the drums. And I think drums are so important in a track because if you don't have good drums, you can destroy the whole track. So the kick, couple of snares, snap, some sticks, and this is the kicks before the course. Get home. Yeah, hey, yeah. And hi hat. Some claps and snare coming in in the second part. And a drum fill. So there is three drum fills. This is the third one. And all the drums together. This is for the rap part. She a freak trying to rap me like a Harley. Why the hell ain't know me? Cause I got a bankroll. I got a lot of cash. No, my money never fall. Ooh. I'ma get a girl something to do. Sorry, baby, I'm not sorry. Sorry, baby, I'm not sorry. Tell me when you move that party. That's basically the track. All the elements. And I want to show you, we actually had another outro, which we never used. And I really like this outro. Uh, I can also show you my mixer. So for the master channel, there is only a compressor, the glue, one of my favorite. And this is something I'm putting on right away when I start a project.
So there is also different volumes to balance the mix. Like I said, I always mix while I'm producing, so there is less to do after the track is finished. And you also get the vibe how the track will sound while you are producing. And sometimes I also send away the track for mastering to just get the tiny little final details. Because it's great to get someone else to listen to the track with a new pair of ears. Because if you're working on a track for hundreds of hours, you can get lost, you can change stuff that you maybe not need to change. I think everyone have been there that you're working all night and when you're waking up the next day, it sounds even worse than it was. That's everything for now. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube and check out my Instagram. See you next time. See you